Margo sent out an email a couple of months ago suggesting that we come up with a tribute to, to Harry and Helen as they entered their eighth decade on the planet. Wow. And I started to think about a song like, you know, the old gray pair they <laughs> <laughs> I, I decided to do something else. Uh, it's hard to accept that I have a brother who's 70 and, uh, and a sister who's about to be 70. Mama Sue, Aunt Jean, Uncle Newt, Aunt Mott's, they're in their 70s, not my brother and sister. <laughs> how could this be? And how could they possibly be in their 70s when Margo and I are still in our mid 30s? <laughs> Just as we're, uh, Forever. It's not possible, and yet here we are. Uh, both have led full lives and raised children, and through them, grandchildren. Both have traveled extensively to many parts of the world. Uh, God has played an important role in their lives. For Helen, the God of forgiveness through grace, faith, and good deeds, and somehow a canine rescue fits in there. <laughs> uh, for Harry, it's the God of a well-played well three-bid, rational thought, and triscuits with sharp chips. <laughs> uh, uh, both seem content. Uh, both also did military service. Harry in the Marine Corps, uh, and this is and this is a story that I, I got from Uncle Byron, from uh, Byron last night. And uh, she apparently did hers at the Kissing Rock at uh, West Point. Cool! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, but I thought, you know, th that happened such a long time ago, I'm, I'm not sure that kissing was even invented. <laughs> Crush me. I carried on the tradition. Uh, but how could I know? I was so young. Uh, I'm not positive, but I seem to recall that Harry had hair once. And it may be something I imagined when I was three or four years old. Uh, I know they say grass doesn't grow on a busy street, but at least there's a little stubble. Uh, and I think, oh, uh, I won't say that about Helen's hair, because now it's as it should be, right? Uh, uh, Helen and Harry didn't get into too much trouble, and I seem to be the only one who tried to burn down the house. Well, uh, you see, kids, you take an empty spool of thread and a rubber band and a bell. I better not go. Do it! 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 I seem to remember Harry running to pull the fire alarm, but that couldn't be because he was at least 40 by that time with a couple of kids. <laughs> I think I can remember Helen running a drunk tank on the third floor at Lake Avenue, but again, I couldn't be because when I was 13, she was popping out babies in Korea or Taiwan. <laughs> They say 70 is the new 50. Of course, I won't know for many, many years. Uh, and Harry and Helen have aged well, like good cheese. I don't know about Big Byron, though. We've, we won't really know how he, how old he is until the carbon dating results come out. <laughs> uh, if they weren't my siblings, it's likely that we never would have crossed paths. Most of my friends are at least close to my own age. Uh, although there's a 50-50 chance we would have met in a buffet line somewhere. <laughs> I could go on, but I better save some material for the next reunion. Uh, all kidding aside, we've all done pretty well in life. Stayed close, no arguments over anything except what's for dinner. Uh, and I'm confident that if I had the need that they could fulfill, they would do so without hesitation. They just might need a little help to remember who I am. <laughs> Thank you.